Hello everyone, this is Eric. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to use a rift generation um, with custom samples. Um, or rather put samples into rift generation. Um, it is a little bit more complicated than I first thought uh, when I undertook this uh, endeavor. Um, but I think it's worth it. Um, I've, I've got some pretty interesting result. <sighs> I've achieved some pretty interesting results with this method of using your own samples. Um, basically the first thing you do is open the instrument and then it's got several groups. It's copied them five times. Um, so what you want to do is, uh, when you have the mapping editor open, you make sure that you deselect selected groups only so that you see all of the samples. Go to this little gap here between the tab and the samples. Left click, drag your cursor over to select all the samples, then delete zones. Um, that way you can make sure that when you save a custom instrument you don't have to load all the samples in. Um, and I would actually save this as you go uh, because it's so time consuming. Uh, because once you get it all set up it's it's not going to be as difficult to to use different samples each time you want to do, do something different. Um, okay then the next step is I would rename the first five groups uh, not including the empty group so and I would do something that stands out whoops <laughs> oh I have caps okay there we go no I want one okay and I'd probably do more arrows I mean you could do whatever you want um, actually no it'll be easier to copy and paste with just that Okay, then I would copy that and repeat similar heuristic across all the naming. Um, so five groups, so yeah, two more. And then once we got that going, now uh, the thing is, the reason we don't want to delete these other groups is because it will mess up the engine. And this is why we need to go through one by one uh, each instance of the, these copy groups and rename them. Um, so just look for the empty group for the next one. And there's about 258 or 55 samples. So you can kind of use that as a guide. We found next empty, so we just repeat the process. So yeah, like I said, keep saving your progress as you go because this is so time consuming. I just keep going down and, and do the same thing till you completed all of them. There should be five separate groups of uh, that look like that start with empty and then sign and I can't remember the other ones but after empty you change the name of the f next five samples for each time it's copied down this uh, this uh, group of of groups <laughs> um, and once you've done that you can load up your custom samples and what I would do is keep the same samples in each respective named group so custom one will have the same samples as custom one down further and further uh, and so on. Custom two will have the same samples as custom two down further. Um, and just keep repeating that. Um, but once you've got all these renamed, I would save it as a template before you load samples in. Um, because the process will be easier next time you want to use different samples. Um, so you could load up any instrument over here on the left. Um, so this is how you would load custom samples in. Um, you would, again, be in the wrench. Um, 
and have the group editor and mapping editor up and then with your um, empty groups here you can either use an instrument that's already mapped out has mapped out samples um, and then just drag and drop making sure that noise sound is working um, all right so this is actually this one won't work very well because of the way they mapped it out um, so that's one thing you gotta look for if you want to use a different sample library um, Let's try something else. This might be interesting. Electric piano. Yeah, so, oops. Copy zones and then go back to riff generation and paste zones. Now I can quickly give you an example of how this this will work uh, because if you really wanted to you could just use one one set of samples so I'd go in and copy to custom uh, the first custom sample set for each instance along these groups so I just paste it in for every one of the five that are copied. So we're at three, I think, so we need two more. There's the other one. Keep passing it and then. Oh gosh. Okay. So, again, you can load up different samples into each of these groups. Um, but for demonstration, I will just use that. And what you can do, if you just want to use one sample set, um, go to generation options and then limit it to minimum sound range one and maximum sound range one. It will only draw from that first group. Let's hear the results. Well, I think I got to get my MIDI up and running. I have to do this. Oh, of course.
just randomize various things. As you see fit, or you can do things manually. Just an example of, you know, loading in different samples, but you know you can probably come up with some better samples to load in there. Um, and again, if you if you use more of these groups, you'll probably get more variety of sound. Uh, this is just an electric piano, so. Anyways, you can just do anything you want, really. Um, yeah. Um, and here's an example of an instrument I put together with uh, samples from Takata, which I think is an organ, a library. I think that's what it's called, Takata. Where is it? Well, regardless, um, various organ samples. Uh, and what I did was I put the BPM of my DAW really low, and I put the attack and release... Um, so it's a slow attack and a long release. Okay, just making sure that other instrument wasn't up. Uh, I'm sorry, that's really loud. Um, but that doesn't, I mean, that, it's kind of unconventional to use like an organ sample for the rift generation engine, but if we put some reverb on it,
Yeah, so you get the idea. Um, so you can play slow samples as well. Um, you just got to change the settings up a little. Generally, you think of this library as you know playing riffs based on the name, um, but you can really do anything you want. You know, something in between this. Uh, maybe you want to load in samples that are completely atonal. Don't follow twelve-tone scales. Um, the tuning systems that we we have in the West. Um, you know, just experiment with it. I hope you can get some use out of this. Thanks for watching.